I am Warrant Officer One, Elijah Nick Aspro Koranga, the Kenya Defense Forces Sergeant Major. Now my journey to becoming the Kenya Defense Forces Sergeant Major started way back in 1984 when I was enlisted in uh, the Kenya Defense Forces and uh, I joined the then Ken, um, Armed Forces Training College, which is currently known as Recruits Training College. Then it was based in um, Lanet, Nakuru. The role of a Defence Forces Sarge Major in the Kenya Defence Forces is very diverse, unlike the time when I was taking over, when it was narrowed to only overseeing, to drill, and discipline the KDF. Currently, the Defence Forces Sarge Major is not only the advisor to the Chief of Defence Forces on all matters touching on the service members, but also looks and advises on the welfare of soldiers, um, um, the families of soldiers, and drill and discipline will come along the line. Actually, was when I was able to explain uh, the small arms, 11 of them, to the then former commander-in-chief, and President of the Republic of Kenya, retired President Mwai Kibaki, during the first Army Day celebrations at Lanet Nakuru. The uh, military setup has uh, changed me a lot. I think I joined when I could not talk to any group of persons going beyond 10. But currently, I'm comfortable addressing soldiers of whatever number, addressing NCOs of whatever number, and being able, at least, to listen things which I had not learned before. The military is a big school. It's a very big school. You learn a lot by the end of the day. You get to know how to interact. You get to know how to motivate and all that. say generally it's discipline, discipline, discipline. Discipline makes a very good soldier. Discipline is the mother of everything and for a soldier to be accomplished he must be ready to follow discipline to the letter. In my military career I've served in two missions. The first one being uh, uh, Kenbat 6, a mission which was in Sierra Leone in 2002. My second mission was Amisom 2. Um, I was one of uh, those who actually went and captured Kismayu thereafter we had to ensure that peace is kept. And even to date, Kismayu is now a prosperous place, is uh, growing very fast. People have known peace. So we did so many things like uh, medical campaigns, educating people. Right now, I can say even that second uh, mission was very successful because the face of humanity can now be seen in Kismayu. The most memorable event for me in the Kenya Defense Forces is the capture of Kismayu, which was in September 2012. It keeps coming to me back and forth, playing time and again in my mind, and uh, it refuses to go, but not for any bad reasons just for the good reasons. So I would say that is uh, the part that has stuck to my mind to date.
Normally in the morning I wake up normal routine. After doing some exercise, I, I take breakfast with my, uh, my grandchildren and uh, after that, checking on what they normally do. So somehow I, what I've missed, like staying with the grandchildren, I make up for during my free time when I'm at home. What I would advise the young soldiers of today, one is that they should join the KDF knowing that they have given themselves to the system. They are giving all to the system and they are ready to work for the system as much as possible and not just to wait to be pushed. This job is tough, it is not easy, but it calls for people who are, who are actually up to the call of being a soldier of the people.